Hey everybody, it's Triple Ella. Now let's talk about Soma chapter 294. Pretty much Soma's cooking chapter. So uh, it looks like this thing is going to be wrapped up next chapter. I'm very happy to see that. Uh, I think at this point it's pretty obvious Soma is going to win. Not only did he bring himself up equal to Sarge with his force, his first form pretty much. He's going to unleash the second part of his dish next week. Or sorry, not next week, but the next chapter. Uh, so this chapter overall, it's... It's because it's the Soma chapter, it's largely removed from the rest of the overarching plot aside from the Sarge flashback. And honestly, what can you really say about it? It's, it's going back to, you know, just old style Soma. It's or, you know, original Soma. It's pretty much, hey, here's a dish that you can make realistically, maybe, possibly. He's using cooking methods that p normal people can actually do. He's being creative with um, a ice, sorry, what was it? A ice cream spoon or something like that. You know, it's just good stuff. You don't need to have that, gi that giant explosion or anything like that. So, um, you know, we're going back into that old style. We also get some stuff with Soma thrown in there. You know, Soma's being a troll. He's calling his little uh, spoon a chainsaw. You know, like it's classic Soma. Not only are you getting a competent Soma, you're getting a trolly Soma. I think it's funny how hard Soma trolls this lady. And of course, we also had the Joey Cheeto flashback with Soma. Now, mind you, this is one of those chapters where I definitely had to reread a couple of times because I missed little details that would have told me what was going on. But um, I definitely liked the Joey Cheeto flashback, just thinking about how often Soma has risen to the challenge or Soma just helped out around uh, the house. Really, though, these are really good things, and this is just solid. The author knows how to write Soma well enough, as in the character, not the series. He knows how to do it well. Um, everything going on in here between Soma's skill and his characterization, it's great. You know, competent Soma's the best Soma. I mentioned it already with the cooking methods, but this chapter also included a lot of uh, weird ingredients that Soma's using, or at least, you know, what people are telling us are weird ingredients. And uh, that was one part where I thought was really interesting because Soma th did not use any sugar or dairy products in his little cake. And I thought that was interesting because like the flashback at some points didn't really seem like it related to the events that were unfolding in real time. But you know, there was that little moment in the flashback where Soma had to make stuff for a special customer. And so, you know, I did like that there were some ties between the flashback and the current events. And I would assume that given that like maybe the majority of the flashback moments tied in in some way to the cooking process, although I haven't been able to see all the connections. Now, there was one more thing that Soma did in this chapter, which I think is interesting and just, it, it's kind of funny when you consider it. It's specifically towards the end when Soma is being questioned on why he did things the way he did. And his response is pretty much, you know, uh, his customers are right in front of him right now. It's a hot and humid summer. So he thought they'd enjoy something light and refreshing, right? And the reason I find that kind of funny is because they're all asking, you know, why go through all this trouble? And Soma's response, ultimately, it's hospitality. Like, that that's what we're coming back to. It's hospitality. But the big thing here is hospitality has been decided to be uh, Megumi's thing, right? So I just think it's funny. It's really hard to avoid this kind of overlap. It's really hard to say that one particular quality is what this character is best at and make it their own thing when other characters can easily go into this realm of hospitality, right? And it's depending on how they choose to go down the superhuman abilities of Megumi, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a balancing act. I think in the, the more you try and exaggerate these little qualities that really everyone should have access to, uh, the more ridiculous things are going to get in the long run. And not the good kind of ridiculous, just like the silly kind of ridiculous. But I did, th I did find that funny. I did find it funny that, hey, Soma is capable of hospitality too. It's not that big of a deal. We know that he is capable of that much. Um, it's just usually this, the rhetoric of I'm doing this thinking about their stomachs is something that's reserved a lot for Megumi. 
Now, I said that the chapter was largely free of the overarching silliness of just the whole legal versus illegal chefs, but you know, Sarge is still there and so she is causing some of it. And uh, there's two scenes really that I really want to just break her down on. But uh, the first one is just the one happening at the end when she's getting insulted that uh, Soma is comparable to her. Uh, the funny thing is... Uh, <laughs> Sarge starts yelling about the theme was supposed to be a Christmas cake that enlivens a party and then she goes on to say and this is the manga stream translation that how can you take his cake seriously it's all show no more than a gimmick and so the, what I find funny is that she's calling it a gimmick and honestly let's face it man the whole of Shokugeki no Soma runs on gimmicks, okay? And her especially, that chainsaw is nothing more than a gimmick. The detonation thing, nothing more than a gimmick. Of course, you know, the characters don't really see it that way. Uh, but we as readers know that. We, we know it's a gimmick. We know that because we've seen the entirety of Soma. We know how this works. But it's just funny, right? Because really, Soma's done something that ideally everyone is capable of if they followed his recipe everyone can do this every chef that follows the recipe can do what soma did right he did a charcoal a charcoal fire the only thing that was audacious was the fact that he was doing the things not the means by which he did them uh, so when you look at it she is the gimmick and if anything she is extremely unaware of the situation around her she's you know she's her she has a lack of self-awareness there we go so it's just funny to see her of all people the like you know these people are the kings and queens of gimmicks calling soma out on a gimmick which actually isn't a gimmick given that everyone else can do it and just it's funny because like gimmicks are what everyone else runs on right megumi's gimmick is hospitality can be that can be argued um now let's see i think now you know the girl with the really gross cooking that's a gimmick Mig uh not megumi nikumi her thing yeah that's a gimmick like you know these these, these characters all run on gimmicks <laughs> so it, it's funny to see her calling it out uh but it pff, doesn't really make sense in the in the grand scheme of things and it, especially when you consider how easy or not how easy but how accessible the things that soma did are okay so the other thing involving sarge that i found funny and it really doesn't require that much breaking down, but it is funny to point it out, is uh, when she got wiped out by, what was his name again? No, it's not a zombie, what, what's his, what's his, oh, Asahi, there we go. I'm uh, just forgetting his name now. Yeah, when she got wiped out by Asahi and we're seeing the flashback, um, you know, it's standard thing, someone on the floor being overwhelmed by food, but uh, there was one part that I thought was really funny and that was where Asahi goes at and asks her whether or not she's a noir and that she has nowhere to call home. Those being his exact words and I just find it funny. He offers this girl a home but we've seen Asahi's level of homes. It's like a couch surrounded by eight barrel fires. I just find that funny. You know ultimately you can tell like they're, they're talking about the metaphor you know a, a home pa uh, a place where you belong with people where you can be with people and it's it's still kind of sketchy you know the author really wants to sell this idea of these people being super hardcore criminals but you gotta remember the sokeki no soma world is an offshoot of the modern world there's been nothing here that's innately super edgy right and then you look at the at the um the noirs they are largely not petty criminals they are high class criminals they can afford to live in really nice places so you know this whole rhetoric with asahi going around and saving people you can tell it makes sense in terms of the story but in terms of the logistics of the shokugeki no soma world you know it's, it's kind of silly again I'm, I'm i'm always going to laugh at the man that invites a person onto his team with the promises of giving them a home and then the next thing you see is them all kidnapping a child and all you know just hanging around inside of a, what i assume is a closed room with eight dumpster fires going on that's just funny you know there, there, there's something about that you just I, i'm not taking that seriously uh <laughs> but yeah you know that, that, that's my section for ragging on the noirs i think they're still largely the silliest thing and i think every little bit of story revolving around them is still exceedingly silly the thing is like asabi was a much more a much better villain because there were parts of his 
of his plan that made sense why he would chase after it. The noirs though are just caricatures, you know, it's and then every chapter that we go by, I don't really see anything that redeems them or, you know, just remove them from that place of caricature. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, we're not going to rag on the noirs. Maybe when Shokuhei no Soma gets cancelled, we'll talk about why the noirs suck so much. <laughs> uh, but actually, fingers crossed, I don't want that to happen. I'd rather have Soma forever. But uh, yeah, that was me. That was Trip. Uh, Till next time, I hope you have an absolutely great day. And yeah, happy 2019! Woo! Let's hope Soma's around for the full year! Yeah!